Okay, guys, so uh, we spent Monday in class going over product rule, and uh, today we are going to look at um, the next rule for taking derivatives of functions, which is quotient rule. Okay, so we use quotient rule to take the derivative of a quotient of two functions. Okay, so quotient rule says to let f and g be differentiable if h of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x provided that g of x does not equal zero then to find the derivative of h which is h prime of x that is going to be equal to g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x, and we are going to divide that by g of x quantity squared. Now, to be honest with you guys, um, I have like a, um, a, a phrase or uh, a device that helps me remember quotient rule. And I was introduced to this back uh, my, in my junior year in high school, um, back in 1994 to 1995, um, which is almost 30 years ago. <clears throat> and I still use this rule to this day. I actually use this rule whenever I wrote this formula down uh, initially in class. <clears throat> okay, so if we want to calculate f divided by g prime, okay, I'm going to call the function in the numerator f, I'm going to call it the high function. The function in the denominator g, I'm going to call the low function. And I'm going to use the letter d to indicate the derivative. Okay, so the phrase that you want to use to help you remember quotient rule is going to be low d high minus high d low all over low low and if you go back and look at your formula your formula illustrates that okay g of x that is the low function we are multiplying that by f prime of x which is the derivative of the high function minus f of x, which is the high function, times g prime of x, which is the derivative of the low function, and our denominator, g of x quantity squared, is like g of x times g of x, which is low low. Okay, so to remember quotient rule, you want to remember low d high minus high d low all over low low. Okay, so let's go ahead and use that uh, to work through some examples. Okay, so the directions here ask us to find the derivative of the given function. And the function we have for number one is f of x, which is equal to x plus three divided by x minus four. Okay, so if we want to use quotient rule to take the derivative of this function, f prime is going to be equal to low, which is x minus 4, d high. So we're going to multiply that times the derivative of the function in the numerator. The derivative of x plus 3 is 1, minus high, which is x plus 3, d low. The derivative of the bottom function, x minus 4, is 1. And we're going to divide that by low, low, which is x minus 4 squared. Okay, my one piece of advice for you when using quotient rule is when you do low d high minus high d low, okay, so when you subtract high d low, you have to make sure that you subtract this entire product here. Okay, so I like putting brackets or parentheses uh, around that product to ensure that I subtract the whole thing. Okay, so we just want to simplify this. So we get f prime here, x minus 4 times 1 is x minus 4. 
minus x plus 3 times 1 is x plus 3, all over x minus 4 quantity squared. And then I'm going to combine two steps and one here to simplify. So I'm going to distribute the negative across both positive x and positive 3, and then combine like terms. So when I do that, that leaves me with negative 7 in the numerator and the quantity x minus 4 squared in the denominator. Okay, and that right there is our derivative simplified completely. Okay, I want you guys to try number two, so pause the video to give that one a try, and then you can go ahead and restart it when you're done, and then we'll work through it together. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the derivative of 3x plus 2 over 2x minus 5, once again using quotient rules. So that is going to be low, which is 2x minus 5, d high, the derivative of the top function is 3, minus high, which is 3x plus 2, d low, the derivative of the bottom function is 2, all over low low, which is uh, 2x minus 5 quantity squared. Okay, so when we go through and simplify, we get f prime of x equal to uh, distributing both quantities in the numerator, we get 6x minus 15 minus the quantity 6x plus 4 all over 2x minus 5 squared. And then when I distribute the negative across 6x and 4 and combine like terms, the numerator becomes a negative 19 over 2x minus 5 quantity squared. Okay, so we'll continue doing some more examples uh, with quotient rule uh, in the next video that I have posted.